Hey Cam30, we're back. You got the Z Dog here today. And our purpose today is to demonstrate the molar enthalpy of combustion of ethanol. The way that we're going to do that is by creating a substrate. In this speaker, we've got calcium acetate dissolved in water. So we've got a solution. To that, we combine 40 grams of ethanol. Whoa! And right away you can see that a gel is being formed. As a backpacker, I like to experiment with different fuels that are lightweight and have high molar enthalpy of combustion. The bonus with a gel fuel is that it's moldable, easy to package in a Ziploc bag in my backpack. I'm transporting, transferring the gelled ethanol in the calcium acetate substrate to this watch glass for combustion. Ethanol out of this beaker. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up a metal can calorimeter. The idea being that we're going to burn the ethanol that's in the gel that we've just made out of the calcium acetate water and ethanol mixture. So the ethanol is going to be burning inside this metal can calorimeter. And the energy that's lost by the ethanol is going to be released in the form of thermal energy. And that's going to be absorbed by the water that we will eventually put in the top can. So we're gonna have the can of water on top. We're gonna to have the ethanol gel on the bottom. The ethanol is being burned and it's transferring the energy to the top can. Now, the way we're going to be able to figure out the amount of, uh, the amount of potential energy lost by the ethanol is using the law of conservation of energy. The idea being that the potential energy lost the potential energy lost by the ethanol is going to be the kinetic energy gained by the water. Now, the ethanol, the molecules of the ethanol have uh, atoms attached to themselves in a very specific way. And what we're going to do when we burn the ethanol is we're rearranging the atoms. And when we rearrange the atoms, we make new bonds. Now, whenever we break bonds and form new bonds, we're changing the potential energy, the potential kinetic en or, uh, chemical energy of a system. So when we lose that potential energy by rearranging the atoms and the bonds of the ethanol, we're releasing energy. The water will be there to absorb the energy. Now the water's bonds and atoms aren't being rearranged. The water molecules will gain speed. They will start moving faster, and that's a form of kinetic energy. So the potential energy lost by the ethanol will be the kinetic energy gained by the water. Go ahead. We're now set to collect the data for the experiment. In the calorimeter, the top metal can, I've poured 150.00 grams of water. Remember, we have 40 grams of ethanol in our uh, calcium acetate water ethanol substrate, our fuel. I have measured the initial temperature of the water to be 19.7 degrees Celsius. Can we get the lights, please? There you see the combustion of the ethanol gel. Our fuel is combusting. You can see we have some experimental error with the lid wanting to fall off here. We are assuming that all of the energy is transferred to the water in the can. However, there is water loss or there is energy loss out through the, the sides of the, the system. Found out as the uh, ethanol continued to burn is a maximum final temperature of 99.3 degrees Celsius. We did see uh, some steam being produced here. So in addition to energy being lost outside of the system through our chimney system, um, energy is being lost to converting the water 
into steam. Uh, a phase change. Taking a look at the products of our combustion. Get our cameraman to zoom in on here. In addition, the intense heat uh, from the combustion cracked our watch glass. Let's see, we've got two pieces here. So an enormous amount of enthalpy generated from the combustion of 40 grams of ethanol. Just to review, 40 grams of ethanol uh, raised the temperature of 150 grams of water from 19.7 degrees Celsius to 99.3 degrees Celsius. We have approximated the law of conservation of energy where the potential energy of the ethanol is equal to the kinetic energy gained for the water. Obviously, there are many sources of experimental error that we would like you to comment on, to discuss, and of course your challenge is to calculate the molar enthalpy of combustion of the ethanol. You can do it, ChemStars. This has been another epic production from Wally G and Z-Dog Studios.